Oh, hey guys, just got back from Walmart for this new massive video series, you guys. It's gonna be incredible. And this is 15 Yu-Gi-Oh! Gold Edition Mystery Power Boxes, you guys. It's gonna be, it's gonna be epic. So, let's talk about this video series here for a second. This is a $300 challenge video series, and we got big plans for this, you guys. It's also gonna be sealed only, but simple and lucky stuff. So, first though, what's up? And uh, let's, uh, let's start the video back here. Please, you guys, remember to check out the channel, subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and also, let me give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. All right, so, this is the beginning, you guys, of a very big video series. You guys are like, what? It's just a $300 challenge from Walmart. It's a $300 challenge from Walmart, but that's not where it ends. You heard me say sealed only, right? So what our plan is, is to open up $300 from Walmart, a $300 challenge from Target, a $300 challenge from GameStop, and then that's not all, maybe a Dollar General, or possibly the Simple and Lucky Game Shop. And then of course, if you guys can help us out as well, post in the comments below a massive retail store or a place that would be interesting to do a $300 challenge for. And then from those $300 challenges at these massive stores, you guys, we're gonna do a sealed only. Each store gets their own deck. So yes, there will be a Walmart versus Target. There will be a GameStop versus Dollar General or Simple and Lucky versus all of them. But there is some rules. No structured decks, no dual devastator. Uh, so basically anything that has randomized Yu-Gi-Oh cards inside is free game. Are you guys ready? All right, you guys, so for this sealed only $300 challenge, the unboxing part of these videos, we're gonna split it up into three different parts. So I'm gonna start by opening up all of these mystery boxes and seeing what's inside for our first opening. And you guys, this is the Walmart. So if you're if you're on fan or if you're on team Walmart, this is your time to shine. And what we decided to do for this, you guys, because because this box is so interesting, this gold edition, I was like, man, this is the perfect box for this. And it was on sale, uh, twenty dollars a box. It has special editions inside. It has classic packs. It has Shadows in Valhalla, which is also a Ash Blossom pack. But then again, it has potentially Duelist Saga inside. So this video is going to be all about introducing the sealed only challenge, but at the same time. We're gonna open up these mystery boxes. All right. First box, here we go. Let's see what we can get inside. How do the cards guide us? Okay. So first box of 15. Oh man, oh baby, oh baby. We might get a super poly. What? Oh no, that's, that's a different one. But still, very cool to see a mega pack. Okay, so our first booster pack here has Sold the Duelist Special Edition. Very nice. Invasion of Chaos, my favorite set. You know, at the end of the day, I'll just be excited to open up some of these classic um, booster packs, legacy booster packs. Uh, two Code of the Duelists, and it looks like the newer Gold Editions have a lot of cold Code of the Duelists inside. So that's okay, Konami. Um, or I guess this isn't Konami, that's okay. Uh, whatever company made this for Walmart. But yes, now moving to our second box here, you guys. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping they differentiate from each other a little bit. Um, sometimes when Walmart makes them all, I'm just gonna say Walmart makes them, I know Walmart doesn't make them, but sometimes when Walmart puts these together, uh, they are all similar. And so I'm hoping that today it's different. Now, this one doesn't wanna open, that's a good sign. Here we go. Can we get a Duelist Saga? All right, ooh, 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 okay, this is good. We got Battle of Legends, Light's Revenge. That's perfect. Um, we have Code of the Duelist. Code of the Duelist. We're gonna, I think we might end up getting a lot of Code of the Duelist here. Um, nice, we got the sleeves. We could actually use those for our deck. And then of course the Legacy Pack. So we're gonna see how many Soul Fusions we get here. That'll be interesting. Let's keep it up, you guys. So this, we're basically opening up like 15 booster packs in a way for this video. Mr. Box, and I'm hoping we get a graded card. And you guys will let me know in the comments below if we get a graded card, should we just take it out? <laughs> Third box, starting with some Soul Fusion, I like that. Honestly, I'm okay doing getting Soul Fusion every time. That's, that's okay with me. 
And is that please be raw yellow? Okay, 2017 again. Okay, okay. It could be okay. That two code of the duelist again. And guys, I'm very much okay getting invasion of chaos every single time. Ah, switching up with some pendulum evolution though. Our random pack over there is kind of flowing around a little bit. Okay. Next mystery box. This is, this is pretty fun. I'm enjoying opening these like they're booster packs. <laughs> Come on, you guys. What we really need is a duelist saga. Okay. And some shadows in Valhalla booster packs, but I have a feeling that we may not get any of those more classics. More classic packs. Okay, so Soul, uh, Soul of Soul Fusion, sorry. Mega Pack 2017. Oh, wow, a Speed Duel Booster Pack. That is completely unexpected, kind of random, and kind of okay, though. That, that is interesting. They actually put Speed Duels in there, you guys. Okay, this product's getting a little more risky uh, to purchase to try and get your value back. Um, so for this opening of the first, for the first part of this, uh, sealed only challenge for Walmart here. For this video, we're gonna show at the end of this kind of if we got our value, our $300 value back from the product inside. So I think that'd be interesting. So hopefully no more speed duels. Though, Sphere Kriba might actually be good if we pull a Sphere <laughs> So here we go. All right, so it looks like we got another Soul Fusion. This is all about Soul Fusion right now. And I like, I like this Mega Pack 2017. That's actually really nice to get. I think a Mega Pack 2017 booster pack is almost like a five or $6 value. So this is nice. And so what we'll do for the, for the values on these at the end of this video is we'll kind of maybe just take the lowest prices we see and maybe include shipping on TCG Player. Uh, just so, cause, we're, cause we, it's a little random to get a lot of this stuff. So we kind of want to keep the prices low. So we'll see what we get. I just know like Invasion of Chaos and Dark Crisis packs already have, you know, pretty epic value. Okay, I'm really praying for some, <laughs> this is so interesting to get consistent packs except for one. I mean, I can't complain about Invasion of Chaos. You guys can, I'll take all of it. But look at the uh, Code of the Duelist right now. This is crazy. But the 2017 Mega Pack is nice, you guys. That's good. 2017 Mega Pack, that's gonna be, um, is yeah the kaiba and yugi tins we actually have them in store it's pretty nice all right next uh booster pack here booster mystery box this is going to be a crazy video series honestly one of the things i'm most excited for right now come on you guys we gotta believe in the heart of the cards right now in order to make this happen 2017 mega mega tin packs are crazy pendulum evolution we don't want to see that too much um dark crisis again look at the is it me or are we getting like a different Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos, every other pack here? Crazy. All right. Looks like we're about halfway through. We'll leave in the heart of the cards for it. We'll guide us. I hopefully didn't hurt that too much. Uh, maybe the newer ones don't have Duelist Saga. That would be bad. Prove me wrong, Konami or uh, Walmart. Ooh, I love seeing the sleeves, you guys. We, that's like actual great value. Uh, nice, Battle of Legends, Light's Revenge. This is really good pack. Uh, I don't think you can find that pack for lower than $4, but usually most will still see around $5. So. Battle of Legends, Light's Revenge is what we want to see. Oh, another one. Perfect, perfect. And of course, more sleeves for our decks here. This is great. So we'll go ahead and set Code of the Duelist. I'm wondering what we're going to do with that. Soul Fusion again. In Soul Fusion, we have... Uh, was it? What's her name? Uh, Summon Sorceress. So <laughs> I think this deck might be a little more broken than we imagined. Maybe we'll follow the band list though. All right, next mystery box here. Can we get a Duelist Saga or just a different booster pack in general? No, nope. it doesn't look like it. Oh yes, another Battle of Legends, Light's Revenge. Okay, wow, I'm loving the sleeves though, loving the sleeves. No graded cards though, um, was it Hilton? Who actually makes these? It's gonna be, find it down, MJ Holding, I think. MJ Holding, MJ Holding, you guys don't have your graded cards inside. What's going on with that? Did that, that just have two Dark Crisis packs inside? 
Uh, oh baby. <laughs> awesome. Oh baby, that's a good one. Wow. All right. Here we go. So we have we can we can count one two three four five, and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Oh. Still, oh baby. Though. Okay. Can we get a duelist saga? Come on. I need you guys to believe in the heart of the cards right here, right now. No, not this time. Not this time. But Battle of Legends. There we go. The Dark Crisis booster pack. This is insane. Sleeves. Soul Fusion, Code of the Duelist. Okay. Uh, we're not getting our Mega Packs anymore. Was the Mega Packs a random thing? It's like a seated three booster packs, one special mystery item. So the, miss, the Mega Packs are not guaranteed. Interesting. Sometimes you get sleeves. One mystery item. So what is our mystery item? Okay, let's see. So our sleeves. This is considered a mystery item. Oh yes, Invasion of Chaos again, and Battle of Legends. I like this one. Code of the Duelist, we have an entire booster box, basically. Over 30 packs it's looking like we're gonna get. So, I like those sleeves. All right, can we get more Megaton booster packs? That's what we need to see as well. Wow, no Duelist Saga. Making me a little sad, Walmart, MJ holding. Okay. Battle of Legends, Lights Revenge though. I like seeing that. And two more Code of the Duelist and Dark Crisis, man. Sakuretsu armor, is that in Dark Crisis? I'm trying to remember what we could use from that. Okay. Yes, Battle of Legends. And it looks like we're getting all Soul Fusion. That means we have 15 special edition Soul Fusion booster boxes. Holy guacamole, this is gonna be insane. I don't even know what we're gonna do with all these packs. I'll try to keep it at like a hundred dollar value per video. Last box of Destiny, can we get something crazy? Hey, Mega Pack, cool. All right, so. Soul Fusion, two code of the Duelist, Mega Pack. Uh, with the Mega Pack though, we get these Pendulum Evolution one. Another Dark Crisis. So again, we'll have some values pop up on screen of what these booster packs are kind of valued at. That's cool, look at that. So it looks like we have, how many Dark Crisis? Three, six, nine Dark Crisis. And we have 3-6, Invasion of Chaos. Battle of Legends, Lights Revenge, this is really good. Three, six, eight of those, wow. Okay, and then Mega Pack 2017, seven of those. One Speed Duels, that's pretty crazy. And then over here, I'm, I don't think we need to count the Code of the Duelist, we have 30 Code of the Duelist booster packs. That is insane. Basically, Code of the Duelist will reign supreme. Actually, maybe not. Because we act, we have 15 Soul Fusion special editions here, you guys. 15. That is 45 boosters of Soul Fusion. Wow. That's actually crazy to think about. So we got 45 there. We got 30 here. So that's 75 plus 15 from here. We have over 100 booster packs. 80, 90, we have like 110 boosters around there. That's crazy, you guys. I did not think that it would be this many uh, booster packs. I thought we would just kind of get sleeves the whole time, but I guess it's nice to get the mega pack as the uh, mystery item. All right, so after opening up 15 gold edition mystery power boxes, I am super excited and I feel like we got to open something um, because we have over 100 packs here like we were talking about. So I think we're gonna open up seven Soul Fusion Special Editions uh, to start you guys, and let's just get straight into it. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I feel like we're gonna get something crazy though. So inside of Soul Fusion, you got Chaos Dragon Levineer. Uh, you have Trap Trick, the Thunder Dragon cards are in there. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, but crazy shenanigans. And if we were to like follow the ban list, which we may or may not do, we'll figure it out. Uh, 
Thunder Dragon cards may not be so bueno, but what if we pull a Colossus? I feel like this might just be the best deck. <laughs> so, Walmart, here we go. Soul Fusion Special Edition. We're gonna take these out one at a time. Let's see what we get. So our first one, three boosters, and don't forget about these bad boys. Isolde is in here as well. Two Tales of Noble Knights with Neospace Connector, but Isolde's a pretty big deal. Um, Isolde is gonna be good. Any sort of warrior deck and potentially uh, a Noble Knights. So I know there's some Noble Knights inside of Soul Fusion, so that'd be pretty cool. But our main goal here, I think, is a Summon Sorceress. There she is, beautiful card. If um, we can potentially use it, but again, we're talking about maybe following the ban list here, so we'll see. So we ended up opening about seven special edition boosters from Soul Fusion. The booster packs here, so that makes about 20 booster packs. I'm pretty excited for this again, you guys. This is, I just enjoy Soul Fusion in general as a booster set. Um, cards to make note of, we already talked about archetypes a little bit, but Pankratops is in here, so that's gonna be a pretty powerful card. And thanks to Konami, we have the beautiful playmat that we're using today. So, we'll open up 20 packs for the end of this video. I didn't wanna make it too long, so we'll see how it goes. We'll go a little quick. The Salamangrate cards are in here, that's cool. Necro Valley cards. Galaxy Cleric, Dino Wrestlers. So, we'll see how it cards we end up getting. I'm just kind of thinking about it. It's going to be fun. Incantations. Nice. Oh, nice. Orcus cards, you guys. That's going to be, it's going to be crazy. So we'll set aside our super rares. Signet Fusion. Pencil Plume. This is going to be fun. I'm super excited for this. Danger! Danger cards are in here. Oh, baby. Danger Dog, man. Koki Pull. Gravekeeper Spiritualist. We could even do a little Gravekeeper power. This is 30 packs. Second expedition into danger. That could work well with our danger cards if we can get enough. Orchestrated uh, Einstaz. That's a pretty epic card. Crusader Crawler. Got the Salamangrate. Come on, can we get Epic Ultra? Under Dragon Duo. More Grave Keepers. Okay. Mega Pack uh, 2017 over there is going to come in handy. I'm pretty, pretty excited for that. Mr. Pack here. Nice, another, another Necro Valley Throne. There's the Salamangrate Heat Leo. And the Salamangrates might actually be a little better than I, I'm giving them credit for. But we'll see how it goes for the deck making. Well, they see the no baby, a Thunder Dragon Roar, ultra rare. Very nice to see another, ooh, Gravekeeper's Headman. Nice to see a ultra rare card. Out of 20 packs, and we're hoping for two or three, we're hoping for three ultras, so another second expedition. Ooh, uh, Symbol Skeleton for the Orchest. Nice. We're hoping for at least two ultras and one secret. Let's see how it goes. Mystic Holder, Heat Leo. Come on, Soul Fusion. Nice, Heritage of the Chalice. Oh, Clock Women, that's a good one. Okay. Oh, set aside our Heritage up there. Two Ultras so far. You gotta believe in the heart of the cards. This is sealed only. This is Walmart, you guys. Noble Knights. Clock Sparta. Come on, Yu-Gi-Oh! Extra Foolish Bear. Hey, not a bad card, though. Gotta pay half your life. It's fine. I think we might actually have some options. We'll see. Dino Wrestler Pankratops. Mystic Holder, gosh. Ooh, Babel. Crusadius Spatha. If you get a Super Poly. That's, uh, that's a Pankratops, though, guys. Got Babel there. Okay. Keep it up. World Legacies. Necro Valley Throne. What the heck? Is that three Necro Valley Thrones? We might actually, two Headmans, we might actually be able to do something with Grave Keepers. That'd be fun. Oh, wow. Another long year. Uh, bombard this time. Got Symbol and uh, the Brass Bombard. Very nice. 
and about six booster packs here. Man, can we get a secret, you guys? We gotta believe. In the heart of the cards, another babble though. Not bad. Kaiba! So, of course, that's the card we get on the Kaiba. Oh, Necker Valley Temple. That's funny. Oxford Core. Some summers. Summoner. Okay, last four packs. Come on. Dude. <laughs> the Mystic Holders are killing me. You know, though, in a sealed only, if this card's normal or special, some discard one card, apply one of the following effects depending on the type of card. If it's a monster, add a trap card from the grave of your hand. A spell, add a monster from the grave of your hand. Add a trap, add a spell. You know, so that's, that's not the worst card for sealed only. Maybe. Come on, something epic. Ooh, more Morgan. More ultra rares, more noble knights is what I was gonna say. Ooh, Clock Wyvern again though. Clock Wyvern's pretty dang good, so. Okay, Grave Keepers. All right, three ultra rares. We got a Morgan, Heritage the Chalice. Danger! I like the danger, I like the danger. The last pack of Destiny. Come on, believe in the heart of the cards. Yugi boy! Ooh, even, Ivan, Ivan. But it is nice to see another Panker Tops. We're probably gonna have three of those Panker Tops. So that is the start, you guys. That is the start. You know what? Actually, I'm a little disappointed. Not disappointed, but just I want to do one more special edition here. Let's do it. This is it. Three more packs. This leaves us with seven. This gives us an even 24 packs. Then even 24, you'd hope for four ultras. And a secret rare! Oh baby! Suchinoko! Wow, wow. I knew it, you guys. I felt it in that final special edition pack there. Man, man, that is one of the best, the best cards in this set. And it's a danger card. We were talking about how good the danger card will be. Also, it's one of the most valuable cards in the set. Danger Tsuchinoko, uh, super rare. Wow, we actually got the secret. Oh, baby, that is the perfect way to end the video. Uh, two more packs for you guys, here we go. Can we get the fourth ultra? This is exactly 24 packs for a booster box. Dragon Duo. Arms. I don't think we actually have any um, Noble Arms cards for our <laughs> Noble Knights. Can we get the other ultra? Ooh, Harold did this. And another Temple. Very cool. Wow, again, let's take a look at that Suchi Noko. That is how you get an epic card at the end of the video. Ooh, two dogmans too. Man, danger, danger. I'm excited for that. I'm looking at these, we could do like a Pancratops danger or shenanigans with some no lights maybe. Well, you gotta remember, we do have these sold without um, some source, but we'll, maybe we'll follow the ban list though, just so we don't have too many broken cards. We'll see though. It could be interesting not following the ban list, especially when we have Invasion of Chaos and Dark Crisis over there. We'll see what happens, you guys. But this is the beginning. Our first episode, a lot of a lot of trash going on down there. The first episode of our sealed only challenge, and this is Walmart, the Walmart edition with Mystery Power Bucks. Oh, we're all, we're all gone now. Uh, gold edition. We opened three hundred dollars, a three hundred dollar challenge. Um, once we finish opening these boosters, we'll see if we actually complete a three hundred dollar challenge. Right now, we're looking pretty good with some Sushi Nokos. A lot of dollar to three dollar, four dollar cards, you guys. So I'm very excited for that. And post in the comments below if you guys are looking forward to this series because this is gonna be this is gonna be incredible. So hopefully you guys think so as well. And as always, thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos and soon unlucky signing out.